Hello students, how are you all? I hope all of you are pretty well. So today we are here to discuss another important chapter. This chapter is from your book Gulmohar, CBSE, class 8 chapter. The name of the chapter is The Lost Dances of Cranes by Juliet Wilson. Students, today we will discuss everything related to this chapter. The points that we are going to discuss are number one we will discuss about the poet we will know who the poet is and what's the description of the poet and we will know something about his personal qualities and his imagination about the poem and the background of the poem as well next we'll go for the line by line explanation so in this portion line by line explanation it will tell you everything each and every details of the poem so that you can understand it better next we will go for explaining the poetic phrases and their meanings according to the poem yes students the poetic phrases are different and it has a specific meaning according to the set of the poem or the theme of the poem next there is the used figure of speech so what is figure of speech students figure of speech means which explains a literary term such as paradox metaphor and so on next there is summary so this summary has been developed in such a way that it can explain everything related to the story and the message of the poem also has been included in this text. So let's discuss this students without any delay. So let's start this. First of all, we'll know about this poet. The poet is Juliet Wilson. Here it is the picture. She is a lady. We can see this from this picture. So Juliet Wilson is a British art historian, curator and independent scholar. So curator means such as the manager of any museum. So Juliet Wilson was born in Manchester and studied in Edinburgh where she still lives. Yes, students, this poet is still living. She has not died yet. This famous personality is being still present in Edinburgh. Now let's read more. Her blog, Crafty Green Poet, contains her environmental poetry about along with ideas for making crops out of recycled materials. So this poet is probably one of the environmentalists who takes interest in saving the nature. She edits the blog magazine Balls of Silk. Student, this name is very important because this is one of the famous poem which has been, this is one of the famous magazine which has been edited by this famous personality. She has had over 50 poems published in UK Poetry Journal regularly reviews poetry. Publications for New Hope International Online has performed her work around Edinburgh, has facilitated workshops on creative writing and recycled art. She also works for a small charity. So this is about the poet. Now we are going to move to the next part that is the poem itself. So here these are the lines which has been taken from the poem. I am going to explain it so students listen to it very carefully. So the lost dances of cranes. So before explaining the poem student you should know that this poem has set in the backdrop of the extinction of the cranes. That means here the poet has talked about particular two type of cranes. So students, when I am saying cranes, probably you are thinking which one of them. You are thinking probably this is a bird or some of you are thinking about a large machine. Yes students, this both type of cranes has been included in this poem. So the cranes which are the large birds with its large necks and legs they are on the verge of extinction that means they probably have disappeared or are very few in number right now and these machine cranes which are a tall machine with its long arm and used for moving building materials these machines are busy in making the skyscrapers or the large or tall buildings so now here the poet has referred to the both similarity of these machine cranes and these bird cranes and the poet is grieving that these large bird cranes have disappeared right now or probably they are on the verge of extinction so let's see how the poet is explaining her imagination about the extinction of this endangered species the large bird cranes. So let's discuss this. Now we'll read line by line and dis explain it according to the poetic phrases. Your fields are empty now. Students, 
this green colored word has a special meaning here your your actually your is referring to the large crane birds that means here by saying your the poet has actually personified the large crane birds and now now refers to the present time in modern time so the poet in this first line says that your fields are empty now that means the natural habitats of the cranes are now empty or they are probably going to disappear right now only your ghosts dance here students ghost means to the memory of the cranes so right now we have only your memories so i repeat again students the two lines your fields are empty now only your ghosts dance so here the poet says that the natural habitats of these bird cranes are now empty there are no sign of the birds and instead of the original crane birds we have only their sweet memories in our heart while cranes of another kind dance cities into being so the poet finally says that we can have another kind of cranes that is the large tall machine with its long arm so instead of the original crane birds right now we have the large tall machines which are building the skyscrapers here dance means they are busy in making or forming the buildings so the another cranes which is the large tall machine with its long arms are busy in making or developing the skyscraper so i am repeating the first four lines once again students your fields are empty now only your ghosts dance while cranes of another kind dance cities into being so in these four lines the poet says that by personifying this crane birds the poet says that the natural habitats of the crane birds are now empty there is no sign of this original crane birds we have only their memories instead of these large crane birds we have the tall machines which are busy in developing the skyscrapers all the tall buildings now the next stanza all that remain of you are all that remain means the remaining or the left over of the crane birds are a fading crackle of your energy fading crackle means here which has been faded or is pale in color and some grainy video footage so the part which has still with us which is still with us regarding this large green bars are some grainy video footage and fading crackle of your energy that means in these three lines the poet refers that we have only some faded video clips and some unclear videos which is depicting to the cries which are full of to the energy of this crane birds that means the left part of the crane birds are only some grainy video footage or unclear video footage and some not smooth video clips so in these three lines the poet says that we don't have the original crane birds right now we have only their unclear faded video footage with us which are full of to their energies or which are significant which are the sign of their energies that people in the new cities which watch to marvel at the wonders the world once held so this is the last stanza of the poem in this stanza the poet says that that people means the people or the new residents of the newly developed cities will watch to the faded video clips and will become surprised as soon as they will realize the wonders of the world which once existed so in this last stanza the poet says that the residents or the dwellers of the newly built cities will take this video clips as the part of their entertainment and they will watch to the video clips and they will just think how nice once the large crane birds existed in the world but they will not think a little bit about the natural habitats of these crane birds they will only just watch this video as a part of their entertainment and they will watch the videos to marvel at the wonders of the world 
which once existed so in this poem the poet has given us the message that we should not become only the spectators of this grainy video footages or this species which have already disappeared from earth we have to be more careful to our nature and have to protect and save our environment so this is the soul of the poem which i already discussed so now students you can comment if you have any problem regarding this poem now we will know further about this poem now we are going to discuss the theme of the poem the poem deals with the destruction of the environment in this poem the poet laments that means feels sorry at the loss of cranes which she saw dancing in the field earlier she is grieving as the large crane birds have become an extinct species extinct species means which have already disappeared or are very few in number right now now whereas the tall machine cranes are building skyscrapers daily at a rapid pace and the human in modern times are not concerned about this massive loss of the nature rather they are enjoying the virtual memories of this bountiful nature so this is the theme of the poem which tells us that the poet is grieving for the loss of this nice species of the large bird cranes and the people in modern times are only watching these videos to become marvel at this bountiful nature's qualities but they are not concerned a lot so that's the theme of the poem now it also says consequently the poet has expressed her anguish over this hypocrisy of the human nature and she urges to the readers to do something productive to save our mother nature so as it is very hypocritic to the human that they are watching the videos and becoming surprised or getting surprised at this wonderful video but they are not concerned about the huge loss of the nature they are building their skyscrapers buildings and they are destroying or spoiling the natural habitats of the crane birds but they are not concerned a lot about this so the poet has expressed his anguish over this type of hypocrisy of human nature so finally the poet says that we have to become productive to save our mother nature now we are going to discuss the summary of the poem students memorize this summary of the poem so that you can write your answers pretty well and this summary has been developed in such a way that if any question from asked from this chapter you will be able to answer all of them that means if you memorize this summary and understand the poem very well then there is no doubt that you yourself can write the answers so let's discuss the summary students without any delay in the beginning of the poem the poet grieves at the extinction of the large crane birds addressing to the ghosts or the memories of the crane birds the poet says that in modern times instead of the original crane birds we can find the tall machine cranes forming the skyscrapers in those places which were once the natural habitats of these birds dancing is part of the mating rituals of the hooping cranes which are on the verge of extinction due to the to and fro movement of the tall machines is the other kind of dance that the poet has referred to the poet laments at the fact that instead of the real crane birds now we have their virtual memories limited to the unclear video footage only and the people in the newly built cities will watch these videos just as a part of their mere entertainment to marvel at the wonders of the world but they are not concerned a little bit about their cruel activities towards the creatures and their natural habitats so far the irony lies in the sense that instead of valuing the real wonders of our mother nature people in modern times are only watching the nature documentaries which fools them into thinking so the poet very aptly requests the readers to do something productive to save our natural world besides watching the nature documentaries so this is the summary which will let you know everything about the poem and i will suggest you that memorize this summary as 
much as you can so that you can write each and every answer very aptly and here we have discussed this phrase irony irony is type of a figure of speech when something is said in such a ironical way that means something is said which is for insulting but it is being said in such another way so this is the irony this is the kind of figure of speech so here the main irony lies in the fact that instead of valuing the real wonders or the real korean birds we are just watching their videos so we are spoiling our time and we are not doing something productive to save our nature so instead of watching the videos only we should have to do something productive so that we can save our mother nature so that's all student this is the all about the poem now we are going to discuss about the most important fact that is the important message of the poet the message that we get from this poem is that we should try to save our environment and protect the endangered species so that they do not become just memories besides watching the nature documentaries we have to keep help each other to promote the growth of the natural beauties of this world the poet wants that everyone will treat all the creatures equally and will allow them to grow in their own natural habitats without wasting their lands for our grid to extend our own buildings and skyscrapers thus we will make our world more beautiful and fruitful for our future so students that's all about the poem lost chances of friends so we have discussed everything students if you have any problem just let us know about this and last request students if you have benefited a little bit from this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon on the youtube app so that you can have the regular updates from this channel so thanks a lot student have a nice day god bless you